Hello, is this thing on? I'm Brooke and I'm nine years old. Every day, almost every minute of the day, joy just flows out of her. She's always happy. She's always positive. She's always, I mean, she's amazing. Brooke Mulford is um, really a special child. I mean, she's been through a lot and uh, she's lived with her disease for quite some time. And she's learned how to love life and enjoy life despite everything she's going through. Brooke started having some leg pain and started limping and uh, took her to our local hospital. At that point, I went to take her out of the car seat. She couldn't walk. Um, she started burning up with a fever. So we took her to Children's Hospital in Philadelphia to the ER. And uh, the next day, we were told that she had cancer. Um, yeah, it's... We unfortunately still treat neuroblastoma in a very similar fashion that we did 15, 20 years ago. The unfortunate reality in, in the year 2014 is that we do not have a known cure for relapsed high-risk neuroblastoma. Immunotherapy, targeted therapies, these are ways to sort of re-engineer what we're doing and to rethink things and to change the paradigm. The first patient that we ever treated with a engineered T-cell therapy was a little girl named Emily Whitehead. She relapsed in October 2011 and at that point, uh, we knew it wasn't kind of the standard garden variety leukemia. Then she relapsed again in February 2012. And so it was at that point that um, we made the decision that we needed to go somewhere else where um, we, we knew we needed to try something new and something different. We were told that we were down to 48 hours of making a decision or she could start to have organ failure. So we're really down to the CART-19 is what's left for Emily to cure her. We're trying to figure out how to make the immune system go after the cancer in those patients. The way we do this is we take cells from the patient themselves. They're called T cells. We genetically modify them with a virus that puts a new gene into these T cells. The T cells then come in contact with the cancer cells everywhere they are. T cells will grow and attack the cancer cells in such a way that you can put a patient into remission. Now this is in leukemia patients. We also know that these cells will stick around for months and potentially be on patrol hunting cancer cells that may be left in the patient and extending remissions, uh, hopefully providing long-term disease control. And in my opinion, cell therapy, immunotherapy is one of those things that really is a game changer in pediatric oncology. And in 90% of the patients that we've treated, we've been able to take those children and put them into remission. So the most critical question, can we take these cells and retarget them not to a leukemia, but to a solid tumor? We don't have good options for those kids. So we would love to know, and of course everybody across the world would love to know, is it possible to take these cells and target them against a solid tumor and see the same kind of dramatic responses? We're very excited by, based upon the science we've seen, the laboratory evidence of why this should work, um, what it could do, and how we could really move the field forward. I think with the immunotherapy trials that they are working towards, you know, we may be able to hopefully get rid of the cancer and keep it going. So solving kids' cancer as a foundation plays a critical role and it comes at a, at a time of really um, enormous unmet need. Um, it is painstakingly slow um, to get innovative clinical research funded through traditional mechanisms. And so I think that solving kids' cancer, um, the work that they've already funded and what they're planning on funding in the future, is looking for those real game changers, those breakthrough type therapies, and a way to get them to kids really quickly. The hope lies in clinical trials. I can say categorically, there is no way that we would be able to do that trial, make these cells, and give them to the patients if we didn't have access to the funding from organizations like Solving Kids Cancer. I live for that day of being told that her cancer is gone. That's the only hope that we have is of ever hearing those words, is if there's the money there to fund the research. I'd give anything for her to be a teenager someday that's driving me crazy <laughs> and, you know, fighting with me every day over teenage stuff.